Hey everybody, Stan Arthur here. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing to my channel. The more you subscribe, the more Premiere Pro goodies I'll make. Today I want to talk about the 21 to 9 screen ratio and the 16 to 9 screen ratio. Sometimes I produce films in the 16 to 9 ratio. If I'm doing a marketing film, uh, something that's going to be shown on television, it just depends if it's a comedy or if it's uh, something serious or if it's a documentary or whatever. It just depends. I've noticed these days that the 21 to 9 screen ratio has been very popular with some young filmmakers. I'm just going to talk about my workflow for 21 to 9 and uh, the difference between it and 16 to 9. First of all, we're not trying to emulate uh, CinemaScope or Panavision or anything like that. We're just talking about the screen aspect ratio. I'm going to take this clip right here and drop it into a 16 by 9 timeline. This is some nice 1920 by 1080 footage, 1080p footage that was shot on an Ursa mini camera. I've noticed that what a lot of young people are doing these days is masking their 16 by 9 footage to make it look like 21 by 9. I'm going to take this anamorphic PNG here and drop it on to another track to make a mask of this. Now, uh, what people are doing is they're making a mask and dropping it on their 16 by 9 sequence to create the illusion of a 21 to 9 screen aspect ratio. That's cool if you want to do it that way. I'll show you why I don't do it that way. Typically what you have to do, once you drop that mask on, then you have to manipulate your footage to make it look the way you're trying to make it look. Here's why I don't do this anymore. Because many people are buying these 21 to 9 ratio screens for computers and for filmmaking. If you do this and then export it as a, it's a 16 by 9 export with a mask on it, you're burning black bars into it. So people with 21 by 9 Ultra HD monitors cannot see it full screen. When they get it on their screen, it's going to look like it has a black box all the way around. It's going to have black bars on all four sides of it and they're not going to be able to look at it full screen. So let's explore another way of doing this. Now I've created another sequence for this footage and I've manipulated the footage to fit the frame. How did I do this? Well let's go to sequence settings and I'll show you. I've created a custom sequence and set all the parameters the way I want it. it instead of 1920 by 1080 the 21 to 9 ratio requires me to make it 1920 by 822. All the rest of the fields are going to be the same, except I need to make sure that my, my preview file format is also set for 1920 by 822. And in doing that, I now have a 21 to 9 screen ratio. And anyone who looks at this on a 21 to 9 monitor will be able to watch it full screen. Let's just go ahead and create a sequence from scratch to show you how it's done. File, New, Sequence. Don't worry about the presets. Let's go to settings. We're going to set editing mode to custom frames per second to whatever the production is. In this case, it's 23.976 frames per second. Now I'm going to change this to 1920 to 822. Now, how did I arrive at 822? Well, it's simple. You have to do the math. For a 1080p clip, we have a vertical resolution of 1920. I'm going to divide 1920 by 21 for the 21 to 9 ratio, and that equals 91.428571. Now I'm going to multiply that by 9, the second half of the 21 to 9 ratio. That equals 822.85713. I can round it down to 822 or round it up to 823. It really doesn't matter. This Now that you'll notice this doesn't say 21 to 9, but it's close enough. We're a difference of a few pixels. That's going to be fine. And then make sure that your preview format is also set to the same format. So there you go. Now with that selected, we can take our clip and drop it in. Hitting my... Now we're going to keep the settings. We don't want to change, we want to keep them. And now we have our widescreen format. It needs to be manipulated to be framed properly. Now we can watch the entire clip in our new sweet 21 by 9 sequence. Anyone with a 21 by 9 monitor is going to be able to watch this full screen. 
And let's talk about a 4K sequence. If you're shooting a 3840 by 2160 clip and you want to create a 21 by 9 sequence, follow these steps. File, New, Sequence. Settings, Custom, choose your frame rate, 3840. Now, let's take 3840 and divide it by 21, and that equals 182.85714 times 9 equals 1645. And in this case, I'm just going to round it down. So 1645. Now, there's a different thing we have to do for the preview file format for 4K. And this is because I'm working on a Windows PC. iframe only MPEG will not do 4K. So we're going to choose a different format. I happen to like this GoPro Cineform YUV 10-bit quite a bit. Now we're going to change this to 3840. And when we click on it, you can see it updates automatically. So now we know that our previews that we need to build are also going to be the right size. Clicking OK. Now let's drop a 4K clip into this sequence. We're going to keep existing settings. Let's manipulate it to be framed correctly. And off we go. Now we have a sweet 21 by 9 screen aspect ratio. So depending on what kind of production you're making, this may work for you well. This is Stan Arthur saying that if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.